George Ramirez on the far side. A potential cross opportunity here for the Tars coming into the box. Nice little one-two. Lemire's at the byline. It's a shot on frame, and it's a goal. He's gone through a bit of a drought. One goal involvement in his last seven games, but he's on page today, leaking up from that far right side, getting involved, and he's got himself a goal there. And what a beautiful play there, Conrad. Yeah, we're going to see this on replay coming up here. Beautiful setup here. Lamirez dancing around near that box. Again, he looks like he's got three different defenders from the mocks on him and puts it in. He leads the team in goals. That's his 11th goal on the season. And great start for Rollins scoring in the sixth minute of action. But George Lamirez is going to find his brother Pedro. Pedro is going to take this into the box here. He's got multiple options. He's going to find Saruk. No, he's not just overplayed, but the pat to the goalkeeper's offline. And Saruk turns it in. A mishap in the back, a blunder. He didn't know the goalkeeper was coming out, and Saruk capitalizes on the attack. And the Tars double their goal advantage. Such a beautiful goal. Sometimes it's, it's better to be lucky than good, but let's take a look at this. See the huge charge coming in here near the box, and the oh. goalkeeper just slipped and Staying with it was number 10 of Nazar to Saruk. That's his 10th goal of the season. Two Tars in double figures with, with, uh, with goals on the season. And, you know. And as I say that, here comes George Lamirez blistering. Good pass there. Does he have a chance? Files it in. Ooh. It's a goal! Wow. That is a goal for number 14, Liam Knight. That's his first goal of the season. Wow, that was beautiful goal there. And for Rollins, they lead 3-0. And again, after having 22 shots not entered the back of the net down at Lakeland last month, it has been a tale of two games as we see the replay here. Great setup. And that one bouncing off the top crossbar and flying in. See his teammates coming in there. That was number 13 of Pedro Lamirez to celebrate with him. And yeah, the Tars came into this match with 40 total goals scored. Oh, man, bad pass. And we've got Lamirez setting it up again. Can he find an open man? It's passed in the middle. Goal scored! For the second time tonight, Liam Knight puts it in the net, and the Tars lead 4-0. Oh, man. Elvar Christiansen came out in the first half, and then they're like, ah, let's give Liam Knight a try. And try he shall. Two goals so far. Him and Lemires, the league up is insane. The press in from Pedro forcing George Lemires to jump on that ball. George Lemires gets at the byline. Not once, not twice. It's his third time in the second half. Look at this replay here. Ooh. Great setup. Knight. Left foot. Oh my goodness, and just send it towards that corner. And I mean, nothing they could do. Great setup. Nothing they could do. Beautiful setup by this Tars roster. This, and it comes from the press. The press forces mistakes out of this defense. And if you're not kicking it long, whew, you better be passing accurately. And I mean accurately. Or what's going to happen? has been an interesting matchup so far for the Tars, to say the least. But who, here comes a chance for. Oh my goodness. I, out of nowhere. So just that quickly, you got to keep your head on a swivel if you're the Tars. And coming off the bench uh, is number nine of Kyle Carr. That's his fourth goal of the season. And his best performance of the year came against this Tars team. We'll see it here on replay. He had it right from beyond the box. Looked like it just kissed the back of number five of Sam Laddie. And I, was, and, and I was talking to you there, and I couldn't really see. But what it looked like was... Obermeyer was out of position. He wasn't expecting him to be. I think he intercepted that ball and was able to get onto it and catch Obermeyer off guard, the coaching staff. But, you know, we, they don't want Tars to give up even though this is theirs. So this will be controlled by Haran. He'll pass it in the middle. Barrett with possession. Sends it high. It's a goal! For his first time tonight... Ryan Barrett gets on the scoreboard. His first goal since Spring Hill earlier in the year. Wow. Join the goal party, Ryan Barrett. 
Tars lead 5-1. Let's take another look at this. Ryan Barrett, he had the juke out and starts to rook his own player. And then all he could do was rifle that one into the top corner. And yeah, we knew Rawls was going to win this game not too long ago, but uh, Ryan Barrett just put the seal on this game. And Tar